There are many parents going through what Amber is as she prepares to send her daughter Chloe to kindergarten. I, I have anxiety about her having her first hot lunch or if she wants to take cold lunch. Is she going to get her lunch properly? Are they going to teach her how to go and get her lunch? As for Chloe, <laughs> well, this is just another adventure. She loves kids. I think that she's just going to really enjoy it. She loves playing with all ages. Amber, like most parents, may feel better if they get to know their child's teacher. Amber's mother, Chloe's grandmother, said she stayed involved. Volunteering in the class helps. I volunteered once a week, and I went in and I got to know all the children and the teacher, and we went on field trips, and I think that she would have a really enjoyable time doing that I did. If both parents work, you may need to rely on technology to keep you in the loop. Teachers today are available so differently than they were in the past. Susan Hobart taught in the Madison School District for two decades. She encourages parents to hop online and look up their child's teacher and send them an email. Tell the teacher what your student's strengths are, what your child's strengths are, and that's key um, for the teacher to know what are the students' interests, what are their strengths, so that when they're teaching, they can build upon those strengths in the classroom. She agrees that if you can, take a field trip with the class, help prepare a lesson, or go to school nights offered by most school districts. It's important because teachers are there for your child when you cannot be. In Madison, Christine Bellport, NBC 15 News.